Hi everybody, my name is Mike Tomorrow, and I want to welcome you to the latest episode of My Life with Asperger's. I know I normally do not like to talk about politics, but I just got done watching the second debate between President Obama and former Governor Romney. I watched the debate because, you know, I wanted to see what their status was on what was going on with the nation and the issues, you know. However, both men did not talk about what they would do for the families and the individuals that are on the autism spectrum and what would they do about the research for autism. And I kind of felt a little disappointed that none of the audience members asked the question or a similar question about it in the debate. But I guess they had their questions in mind before they came to the debate. So, and I guess none of them had to deal with autism. Anyways. I am here. I want to talk about it because it affects my life. It affects my friends and family's lives. The lives, excuse me. And it affects autistics and Aspies all over this world. You know, all over the country, all over the world. And both men did not answer the question, you know. You know, one of the TV stations down here, 10 News, had a status that said, well, your questions, well, your comments, and they'll have it on the bottom of the screen during the debate. Now, I did ask a question. And the question was, what will you do about the future of autism and autism research for families and individuals on the autism spectrum. I felt that that was a very important question to ask because, you know, what would they do? You know, you have a Facebook page out there and you have a website out there. That's like, let me see here. It's one out of 88. Can't wait for the debate, you know? Or something like that. I'm sorry I don't know it on top of my head, but I will get it. Don't worry. But yes, I am an advocate for autism and Asperger's and you know and I'm trying to get the answers I need to vote for the presidential election in November and what would President Obama or Governor Romney do about autism and Asperger's. What would they do to find the research for it? You know, we can't do it all by ourselves here. You know? And there's been calls that people people should people have been trying to get the president and the former governor to respond to the questions to like you know how are you gonna do it and they did not talk about it you know I know it's weird and I know it's strange that you know it's like why did you not cover that topic it's like you know I understand they have to deal with gas prices. I understand they have to deal with 
politics, like, what are you going to do to change the country? I understand you have to change the world sometimes, too. But you guys keep attacking each other, and, you know, we're not listening to your full issues. One of the issues is about autism and the autism research and to help family and friends and individuals like myself. What would you do if, if you were president? What would you do? And I just don't understand why the topic was not talked about. And, you know, it should be talked about. And you just don't want to talk about. You know, and I did finally found the page here. It says, 1 in 88 can't wait. Get autism on the debate. Or in the debate. And, you know... It's like, give me a break. You do, n you did not talk about it in your debate tonight. You didn't talk about it in your first debate in the, back in the first, uh, third of the month. So, give me a break. You know? Please, talk about the issue, you know? You know, myself, I am an Autism advocate, and I'm an individual with Asperger's syndrome. I'm trying to get out to that world every day, spraying my awareness of autism and Asperger's, my advocacy. And there are people that listen to me and that care about me, that support me. And there's other people who just, just don't care. It's like we need to do something about autism and Asperger's and we need to do something about how are we going to help the individuals and families with it. You know, I was kind of glad to be a part of it. You know, I was glad that I saw some of my friends at the Southwest Florida Walk this past weekend and their autism votes tent. I'm real happy that I got to see them, and I talked to, to them, and they agree with me, you know? And I agree with them, too, and I'm helping them support the cause, you know? We work together here. We can get something done, you know? The 1 in 88 is not going to go away. I'll tell you that much right now. You know, it's going to get, the number's going to get, more and more and more, you know? It's going to be like, someday it's going to be 1 in 80. Someday it's going to be 1 in 70. 1 in 50. You know, it's it's driving me nuts. The number's going to get higher. For people that are diagnosed with Asperger's and autism every single day. You know? So, we need to do something about it. I'm very glad that there's autism folks out there, you know? You know, we need to have more states on board helping people out with autism and Asperger's. We need to have more awareness for it. There's people like me who graduated from college that are trying to find a permanent good decent paying job because the job that I have right now is not working out for me because I'm not getting the good pay and it's not a type of job that I need or do want, you know? I'm trying to find a job that I can help people that are on the autism spectrum and help spread awareness for it and advocate for it. You know, I'm one of those people that, you know, I want to go and spread my awareness. That's why, that's one of the reasons why I do my videos. To talk about my life and what I have and what I deal with on a daily basis. You know, it's hard for me living with Asperger's Syndrome. It's hard for me to be social. It's hard for me 
to get out of my world and know what I want. I know what I want, but it's hard for me to get what I want, you know? And I'm trying to spread this awareness to everybody. I already go across the state of Florida to all the Autism Speak Squawks and help them volunteer. And I also go and talk with people, the families, to have someone that's on the spectrum or someone that works with people that are on the spectrum. You know? And I, I'm glad that I get to meet them. Because I get to hear their story, and they get to hear from me, too. You know, if I get a good, decent, paying job, you know what I want to do one of these days? I want to take a trip across the United States of America and attend every single walk that there is. If I get that chance, you know? Or, or go to, like, conferences across the United States of America. And speak at the conferences because people do need to hear what I have to say and people do need to hear what my life has been with Asperger's and it's part of it's part of the autism spectrum you know you know I advocate more towards the adults than I do with the children but I advocate for both because you know one of these days the children will grow up to become adults and I know the children are getting help but once they become an adult I don't know what's going to be going on for them because they'll lose some of the help because they're not under their parents anymore that's what happened with me you know I understand that I was diagnosed when I was an adult I wasn't diagnosed when I was a kid I was first diagnosed with late developmental disorder, you know? And my parents and the doctors that tested me had a very hard time figuring out what was wrong with me. What was wrong with me? Every single test I was in when I was a child, you know? And then in 2006, there was a doctor in Massachusetts that tested me. And figured it all out. Then I figured it out. I was in. I was in Aspie. I was on the Asperger syndrome, or I had Asperger syndrome. You know. And then it was like I was trying to figure out what was going on with me. You know, I was reevaluating my life. Then, in 2008, I started becoming involved with Autism Speaks. And doing their walks. Well, not working them just yet. That came two years later in 2010. I really wanted to start getting involved with them. Because, you know, if it wasn't for me attending that kickoff party back in 2010, I probably would not be where I am today. I probably would have not met the families and the other adults and the children that are on the spectrum, you know, and I'm trying to get out there and try and tell people my story. But you know, if people are not willing to help out here, like President Obama or Governor Romney, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, I'm so proud that we're trying to get the issue of autism on the presidential debates but it seems like it didn't get on there and I know there's one more debate coming up on Monday but that is all about foreign affairs that's not going to talk about autism so you know <clears throat> and I'm not endorsing any candidates here I'm just telling you that right now I'm an independent voter and I'm not going to indicate whether I want to vote for Romney or Obama it's like, come on now, you know? I know that I could do that, but I don't want to do that because I feel that if I did that, then people will have me on record of who am I supporting, you know? I understand that there's two candidates that I voted for before, but 
it's like, who do I trust now? And, you know, I really wanted to get autism, autism on the debates. But they don't want to talk about it, and we're kind of lost here, because it's like, how are we going to get the jobs, and how are we going to get the autism, and how, how are the candidates going to talk about it? You know, if they don't talk about it, it's going to make our lives a lot harder. It's going to make us think about who we want to vote for, who we want to vote for, you know? Which president will help us better out for the people that are on the autism spectrum? And if they don't talk about it in their debates or ads, if they're wasting money on other stuff and they're not, you know, they're not talking about it, it's like, who do we trust to get to vote for who will do a better job at trying to help those that are on the autism spectrum and how are you going to help find autism research? You know, we want a candidate for president that can do that. And if they're not going to talk about it, then it's going to be a toss-up of who should we vote for? You know, come on now. I'm very glad that uh, the people across Tampa Bay got to see my question posted on 10 News tonight. And scrolling on the bottom of the screen during the debate twice. Not once, but twice. I'm very glad that the question got scrolled on the bottom of the debate, you know? And it's like, they don't want to talk about autism. And well, you know, the candidates don't want to talk about autism, but there's like viewers across Tampa Bay that saw my question and they will be like, oh, he's trying to help all oh, this Mike DeMauro guys on our side here. He wants to help find out what is going on here. And I feel that, you know, they need to do something about Autism, they need to talk about it and what they're going to do about it. You know, and I'm blabbing and blabbing and blabbing on here, but this is a very important issue. We have three weeks to decide who we're going to vote for president, and if they don't talk about it, then it's going to be a real tough decision for us. And it feels like we're getting screwed because we don't know what the candidates will do. You know what I mean? And I hope you agree with me on this, because it is the truth. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of My Life with Asperger's, and I hope you guys will continue watching it, because I will continue talking about my life with Asperger's, and the issues that go on with daily life, and I will continue talking about what needs to be done in this world. You know? So hopefully... Maybe the right people will watch, and maybe the right people will say, Hey, this guy wants to help us out here. Or this guy is a great person to listen to here. Well, I'm just saying. But you know what I mean? So, I hope you guys will continue watching my shows, on my or on my videos on here. Because this is a great topic to talk about. Or, this is a great show to watch, so... I'll talk to you guys all later. Please make sure you do vote on November 6th because it is very important. And they need to talk about autism on the debates. Don't know if they will, but they better. So, I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye for now.